Hey all, Wild for Games here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up instant replay on Streamlabs OBS, so that way you can relive all those sweet victories again and again. Let's get into it. In this video tutorial here, I'm gonna show you how to set up instant replay or replay buffer, which records your footage in the background where you can replay it later at a simple command. Setting this up has a number of steps. So let's break it down into two parts. One, setting it up, and two, hotkeying it so that way you can streamline the process, all right? First, open up Streamlabs OBS settings, go to output and check the box, enable replay buffer. From here, set the length of your desired time. Please note, longer replay buffer times take more memory, so take that in consideration. For this tutorial right here, we're gonna center everything around 20 seconds, okay? Navigate yourself to general settings and check the box next to automatically start replay buffer when streaming. This will turn on the replay buffer as soon as you start streaming. If you're the type of streamer that will be utilizing replays often, this is a handy tool to make sure you don't forget to turn it on and possibly miss out on really awesome cool plays. Now you need to add a new source to the current scene and choose the one called Instant Replay. From here, all we need to do is set up the hotkeys you'll be using so that way you can have a streamlined experience using this. The reason hotkeys are important and make it kind of streamlined is the fact that you can set them up to replay, hide, show, and a few other features which we'll get into in a moment here. When it comes to hotkeys, we highly recommend you have save replay ticked on. That way, at any given time, you are ready to capture your best moments. Using this hotkey can save the last 20 seconds of your stream since that's the duration that we set in the setting above. Other hotkeys give you additional flexibility on how and when you show your instant replay. For example, you set a hotkey to show or hide the source, and if you're really fancy, you can even dedicate a scene specifically for instant replays and use a hotkey to switch to those scenes. With the hotkey set, you can close the setting page. To test replay buffer and get comfortable using it before you go live, you can click on start replay buffer towards the bottom right of Streamlabs OBS. Remember, replay buffer will automatically turn on when you start to stream. Now that your instant replay feature is ready, simply press your chosen hotkey combination and the last 20 seconds will play as a media source in your editor. You can also resize the source and move it around. Instant Replay is really cool because it gives you more power at the push of a button. And even more awesome about it, if you have a Stream Deck, you can make it a Stream Deck key. So that way you can record with that easy, simple push again. Instant Replay isn't just a, a great way to relive your moments with your community and new members to your audience. It's also a great way to expand yourself on social media. You know, save and export those awesome replays and post them on Twitter and Instagram to gain a little extra traction. That's just a little personal tip from me to you to help you become bigger and better. Now, if you need any more help with Streamlabs OBS and figuring everything out about it, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that shows you everything you need to know about the brand new alert box that just came out. It's got some really cool new features that you're just gonna love. Until next time, my name is Wild for Games, helping you always become bigger and better. And as always, take care and of course, peace.